I'm Tyler Austin from Gungner Strategic. Thank you so much for watching. In this super brief video, I'm going to give you the difference between lumens and candela. A lot of people mix these two terms up or they don't understand primarily what candela refers to or what it measures. Most people understand what lumens generally means. Um, they understand that the higher the lumen output, generally speaking, the more the brighter the flashlight's going to be. However, candela tends to be be the one that mixes people up. They either don't understand what it's referring to or what it measures, or they think it means the same thing as lumens, which it doesn't. So what is the difference between lumens and candela? Well, in super basic terms, lumens is simply a measurement of light output. It measures how much light that flashlight produces. Candela, on the other hand, measures how focused or how narrow or wide the beam is. So the hotter the beam or the narrower the beam, the higher the candela, and the wider the beam is, the uh, lower the candela is going to be. So let's just use a super quick example to demonstrate that. So we have two lights and both of them produce the same amount of light, which is going to be a thousand lumens. So again, lumens is simply a measurement of light output. So these lights, both of these flashlights are producing the same amount of light. They're pushing the same amount of light. However, one light, produces 10,000 candela, while the other light produces 100,000 candela. The 10,000 candela light is going to have a significantly wider and more floody beam as opposed to the 100,000 candela light, which is going to have a much more focused and narrow beam. It's going to have a much uh, brighter hot spot. Now, which one is better is going to be very, very dependent upon what you intend to use the flashlight for. A lot of people will just immediately default going, oh, you just want the highest candela light you can get. And that's not true. Uh, again, it, it's very dependent on what you're looking to use, use the light for and its purpose. Now, if you're looking for a light that's going to be able to push that beam really far and you want to be able to see things and PID things out at 100, 200, 300 yards, then yes, you're definitely going to want a higher candela light because that beam is going to be more focused and it's going to allow you to see better uh, at much farther distances. However, if you're looking for a light that's going to give you a very wide beam and it's going to allow you to see a lot more at shorter distances, then you're going to want to go with a, uh, a lower candela light. Now, there are certain manufacturers out there who tend to produce more uh, lights on the lower or higher end of the candela range. So, for example, Surefire, which is my personal preferred light, tends to, most of their lights tend to uh, be lower candela, so they tend to be more floody. Um, not to say they don't produce some higher candela lights, they absolutely do. They do produce lights um, that push 100,000 candela. But at least in my experience, most Surefires tend to be more floody. As opposed to, I believe, Mod Light. Mod Light tends to be um, on the higher candela side. So again, it's just more or less what you're looking for. So for example, let's just say CQB, right? For CQB purposes, you're probably going to want a lower candela light because you're going to get more flood and you're going to be able to see more in a shorter distance than a higher candela, which is just going to be a lot more focused. But again, it's all on terms of your um, uh, what you're looking to use the light for. So that is a basic rundown on the difference between lumens and candela. Both of these things are really good to look at in terms of what you're looking for in a light. So if you're looking for a light, um, don't just go by the lumen output. Look at what the candela is, especially if you have a very specific intended use in mind for that light. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you did, please like and subscribe. If you enjoy this kind of content, please consider subscribing to either my player or my Patreon channel. Links are down in the description below, of course. I'm Tyler Austin from Gungnir Strategic. Thank you so much for watching.